Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So welcome again to another of my series which is Waste or Worth It Wednesday and today I am so excited. You guys have no idea how hard I hunted these items down to get this video up. Seriously, no joke, I went crazy store to store searching for this specific item and I finally found it. So today I'm going to share with you guys the new collection that Wet n Wild launched which is the Silver Lake collection. It is limited edition so if you guys are interested in these products get your hands on them because once they're gone they're pretty much not restocking them. Um, I came across a palette through it's no actually I signed at Walgreens and I was like hmm what's this and I saw I or I read that it said Silver Lake limited edition I was like oh my god limited edition usually it's pretty amazing stuff so I have to get my hands on the whole collection so let me just give you an overview of what it is it is quite a lot of products and obviously you don't need these many but they are all beautiful. This is what the package looks like. It's white instead of black, I believe their normal packaging is. So these are two of the little eyeshadow palettes. There's five in total. And then there's this one really bright as well. I'm using these two colors on my eyes today. And then there's these two which are a little bit more on... Well, actually this one, it's still a little bit bright, but you do have that really nice green. And then you have this gorgeous neutral palette. So those are the palettes. They also came out with some nail polishes. And these are the nail polishes that they launched. They are all so pretty. You have tons of colors. Well, you have five colors to choose from. And then the last thing that I got, which I didn't get all three of them because they have three different um, colors is their color icon blush and glow trio and i have mine in the color solar powered and this is what it looks like it's what i'm wearing on my face today to bronze it up and then to give it a little bit of a glow so let's talk about these products okay so right away i'm just gonna jump in and start reviewing these products just so we don't have to talk a lot because i will be having swatches for you guys so you can see the pigmentation on them so first things first the prices you guys know that when wild has some pretty affordable prices and these retail for around three dollars up to like four dollars so super inexpensive really affordable let me just go through each individual palette just so you can look at them a little bit better and then again i'm just going to be doing some arm swatches so you can see the true pigmentation of them so the first one here is called Thrift Store Chic or Chic? Chic? I think it's Chic. Thrift Store Chic. And it has really pretty pink colors as you can see here. It has purples and then it has pinks and then it has two little glittery ones. Most of these are on the shimmer side but they're not overly shimmery. Besides these two, they are sparkly. They have that really nice glittery sparkly effect this one is absolutely gorgeous if you like pink purple colors then i think you're really going to enjoy these then the second one is called vegan culture and this one has turquoise blues grays whites and dark greens which is uh, just perfect for the summer as you can see this one is probably the loudest out of them all and it's a really pretty bright like turquoise green it does have a little bit of glitter to it but not too much and then all of these are absolutely shimmer and then this is probably my favorite out of all this is called vinyl collection and i think this is suitable for almost everybody because it has a lot of warm tone colors you have this really nice deep brown which is so pretty i absolutely love this one i applied it a little bit into the crease today to warm it up and it is so gorgeous this one is more of a taupey brown and then this one is also a really pretty color it's like a champagne 
rose gold kind of color it actually broke when i got it daughter accidentally dropped it and then i saw that it broke i was like no but it was the last one and i didn't even care so i bought it anyway and then you have this really nice matte color this one is really pretty it's really buttery and it's pretty pigmented i use this to um on my brow bone and yeah it's a really nice like beigey nude and then you have a really nice copper like a coppery gold color which i have on the inner corners of my eyes and then you have a really nice gold green well i say gold because it ha i say gold because it has a little bit of those gold undertones absolutely gorgeous this one will offer a little bit more of the matte colors versus the other ones the next one is also one of my favorites this one is called california roll and again this is what i'm using on my eyes today these two colors as you can see super bright you have a nice like it's kind of like a red color but it has some so many undertones and then this one is a gorgeous peach color which is all over my eyelids today it is so pretty i don't own any color like this and i'm so in love with it and then this one is a really nice champagne with a little bit of gold sparkle to it and then this one has a little bit more of a yellow sheen to it both of these can be used as inner corner highlights or for the brow bone <clears throat> excuse me and then you have a really nice vibrance green and then a little bit more of a darker green but it's still kind of like on the turquoise side something like that and then <laughs> the last one is called embrace obscurity this is gorgeous i love purple eyeshadows and i love that it has like the blue colors next to it really bright purple and then the blue both of these have a little bit of glitter to it but what i like about them is that when you apply them to the lid they're not like super sparkly the glitter kind of like fades away but yet you can still see it just a bit these two are mattes and this one is just a lighter version of this and then same for this like a, a lilac purple and then like a sky blue and then you have a really nice like shimmery baby blue this kind of reminds me of winter for some reason and then you just get a really nice shimmery um just a plain white eyeshadow again these are five and this is the whole collection of the silver lake as far as the palettes go now really quickly i just want to say that these palettes are absolutely amazing i mean you guys will see the swatches and you let me know what you think of these they are just so buttery they're so creamy they're so pigmented and i am so amazed by these palettes you can fool me if you just Take them out of the package and tell me that these are high-end products. I would believe it 100%. I mean, that's literally one swipe. One swipe. One swipe. I mean, that tells you everything right there. And again, they're so buttery when you touch them. You're like, oh, what's this? So the palettes out of this world highly recommend them now let me talk about this really quickly this is again the color icon blush and glow trio so you get three little square square thingy majingers and you have two bronzers and then you have a really nice um blush now these you have three options there's two other ones but they were a little too much for me the pink was a really bright pink and i'm not really into pink blushes i either like really like warm blushes or peachy blushes pink it has to be a really nice pink in order for me to wear it which is why i chose this one i really like it because it has really nice um like peachy pink undertones and then it has a little bit of a gold in it and then these bronzers are just oh my god let me just give you a quick swatch of this bronzer. So there's different colors. There's this one and then there's this one. This one, it's that one right there. I hope you guys can see it. My camera kind of sucks. So, yeah. And then this one is, is this one right here. And it's that one right there. I feel like swatches aren't the best with this specific product. But when you apply it to your face, you're like, oh, you're like a glowing goddess. No joke. And then the pink one is just beautiful. 
This one is a little bit more matte. And these are a little bit more shimmery. Again, this is what I wore to like bronze up my face. Now, really quickly, I'm just going to talk about the nail polishes. So again, there's five to the collection and they are all so pretty. My favorite one, if you guys have noticed the past week, I've been wearing like a white gray nail polish and it's this one right here. This one is called A Lot of Love a latte love or something like that it's so pretty i don't know how to describe the color because it's so unique um but it's ugh, i'm not gonna flip you off but it's this one right here the one that i have on my middle finger and again it's just the one that i've been wearing in my past videos and then this one is a really pretty lavender purple this one's called reject the mainstream and it's this one right here the one that i have on my pinkies Super pigmented. You only need about one, two coats top. Make it super, super opaque. And then the next one is called Stream of Consciousness. This one is more on the super baby, very sheer pink side. I wouldn't recommend this one if you don't like um, like really sheer colors because this has zero to nothing color payoff. You have to build it up to three or four coats in order to get any color out of it so I just got it again just for the sake of this video but if you are not into these really sheer colors then don't get this one because you're not going to like it now this uh, next one is so pretty this is another one of my favorites this one's called wear skinny jeans and it's this one right here so it's a really nice um, like a like a baby blue ish más o menos um, so yeah, this is the color right here, and this one reminds me a lot of Essie's, um, what's it called? Something bikini. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know down below. I don't remember the name out of the top of my head. It's something like something, something, something bikini. I don't know. But it's pretty much a dupe for Essie's nail polish. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's a gorgeous blue color. Usually, I don't gravitate towards blue colors on my nails just because I don't like them. But this one is so pretty. So the final one is called Warm Filled Share. And this is so pretty. It's a really nice peach, corally color, but it's super bright. It's this one right here. And I love these colors. Especially when it comes around the summertime, it just makes your skin look really nice and tan. So I believe that is everything that I wanted to say. Again, I was not disappointed by any of these products, except for that pink nail polish, but whatever, that was... Mm. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys are going to pick up this Wet n Wild collection, do it now because, again, it's limited edition. So once they're gone, they're gone, and then you won't be able to get them. And then if you want to buy them off of eBay, they're going to be super expensive, which I've done, and it's just a total waste of money. That is everything for today's video. Leave me suggestions on what videos you guys would like to see. I do have an idea for next Wednesday but I don't know what to do after that so please help me and let me know what you guys want to see because your opinion to me is very important so with that said stay tuned for the swatches and I'll see you guys in my next video bye blonde hair blue eyes that'll make you faint on sight but she looks like trouble so kissable and poisonous I know she won't be good for me